this island. Just trying to find us a spot. Some of our sis. Ignore the crowd. Ignore them. Okay? Hi. I'll take this off. Through there, this is the road, eh? Hey. Nah, I just realised I'm on the road. I'm the one chosen from the most high power, Yahweh, to uh, expose all these liars that they are not the children of the most high power, Yahweh. Is it a person? You are not the children of God. These are the people who work well in stolen this world because the most high gave you to them. These are children, children of the most high, don't keep the power no more. So we're here to give the power unto the Lord. Blessed the Lord of God. 
Now you can stretch your lives to my feet for over 250 years. You're part of the Native Americans and the best of spreading slavery for 400 years. They have fulfilled prophecy. And now the children of Maui, the people of Moses, is here to set the captives free. If we don't care about it, you'll follow as well. The Lord said, if any man loves the Lord well, the love of the Father is not in him. So, I'm here to say, I hate your world. And I'm here as a Kaitani for Modi to prophesy the downfall to this wicked ass nation under the Most High Power, Hawa, who you ignorantly call Jesus. The real name of the Savior is the Waiki Nui, the Waiki Law, the Waiki Pawa Ma. Jesus, right? Hawa, Modi, as it is written in the Pawa scripts, the original tongue of the children of Ika Law is called the Rajaaba of Israel. When those Jews are not the Jews, they are not white The Jews are not white They have stolen our nationality and called us a Maori, a Maori people of the scriptures. Stole our language, stole our heritage, put us at the end of the earth on this planet, and then called us Maori. The Jews, I'm not too Jews. I'm white It's Judah. Judah. The true Jews of the Bible is called white Maui. And Ngāpui is the children of Maui, known as the tribe of the Lewai, the house of bread. These Jews have claimed our nationality, put us in the gutter. But the Lord has always had our back. And he said, men, always before the children of Ikaroa to prophesy the downfall to all the wicked nations across this globe. And we're here as the mightiest nation under the Most High Power, Yahweh, who you call God. This is his name. I've got it written on my chest. This is the Father's name. Yahweh-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-
Everything's fake. They don't want you to know who you are. A Māori Ika. Māori's Ika. That he calls Māori's Ika. Peru Tārana. That's our mother. Peru Tārana. So, we're going to get it out the book. Joel 2.27. The Most High has chosen us, the children of Ikuro. So we have established our camp, our war party, right here in Farm Lake. And the street to be our witness. My brother Tani Mauta. I got his back, he's got mine. Knows the stuff saith the Lord. Yeah. Joel chapter 2, verse 27. Read, and you shall know. And you's all gonna know. Thus, read, that I am in the midst of Israel. That the most high is in the midst of what? In the realm. And you shall know that I am in the midst of Ikaro. The most high power is only in the midst, in the middle of Ikaro. Read. And that I am the Lord your God. And he's what? And that I am the Lord your God. He's your God if you're from the children of Igra. He's only your God. Read. And none else. What's that? And none else. What's that? And none else. Read it from the start. For all these people who don't know how to read and listen. Read. And you shall know that I am in the midst of Igra. And that I am the Lord your God. Your God. And none else. And none else. Thus saith the most high power, your heart. Go to Exodus. 15 verse 3. Let's tell them about our Father, our God. Where the bird found they do and raise up the children of Ingrid. Right. Yep. Yeah. Exodus chapter 15 verse 3. This is our Father. Read. The Lord is a man of war. What is he? The Lord is a man of war. Guys are a man of hearts and kisses. The Lord is a man of war. Nah, nah, he's here to give you a hug and tell you nice things. The Lord is a man of war. Nah, he's a man of war. Yahweh is his name. What's his name? Yahweh is his name. Hawaii Kinu, Hawaii Kiro, Hawaii Kipa Momo. Right. And he's only in the midst of Ikaro and none else. And if you want to come to the Father, you just have to come through his children. Go to um, Romans 9, verse 4. This is what Christ was trying to teach the world. This is what the brother Christ from Waitaha was trying to teach the world. Is that you've got to come through the Most High's children before you can get to the Most High. Read. Romans chapter 9 verse 4. Who are Israelites? Who are Israelites is us. The children of Ikara from here to Peru. To whom pertaineth the adoption? What? To whom pertaineth the adoption? What? To whom pertaineth? The adoption. Now this is how you get grafted in. Only the Israelites get grafted in. Read. And the glory. And the glory pertains to only Israelites. Read. And the covenants. And the covenants. The car one atoma between the most high. It's only through us and him. It's not through everybody else. You have to come through us before you get to him. Read. And the giving of the law. We give the law. But someone else has stolen our power and given out the laws. The laws that are making our people mentally sick. That's right. Now we're individuals when we're meant to be one big family. Read. And the service of God. We serve the Most High power, no one else. Someone else is serving the Most High and giving, making him look like a fool. They make, they lie upon the Word's name. They talk his name in vain and told the world lies. Now we're gonna tell you the truth about the Most High power. Go to eight. Romans chapter nine, verse eight. That is. They which are the children of the flesh. Oh, these other people are the children of the flesh. Read. These are not the children of God. What? These are not the children of God. What does the Bible say? These are not the children of God. They're not the children of God. They don't know Aroha. They won't come out here and put their lives in the life for others. They won't do that. 
They won't read out the scriptures. They'll bring it out their own mind, their own mouth. I'm going to read it out the scriptures. Read that one more time. Romans chapter 9 verse 8. This is New Testament. This is what all the churches teach our people, but they don't read this. That is, they which are the children of the flesh. All these people who ate from Ikara are the children of the flesh. Read. These are not the children of God. What? These are not the children of God. What? These are not the children of God. They are not the children of God. Go to verse 7. Read. Romans chapter 9 verse 7. No, we'll tell you who the children of Aroha Yamaz. Read. Neither. Because they are the seed of Abraham. Just because they come from Abraham as well. Read. Are they all children? Because they say they're from Abraham as well. Doesn't mean you're all children of the Most High Power. How do you become the children of Most High Power? Read. But in Isaac. Through who? But in Isaac. Through Ihaka. Read. Shall thy seed be called? That's the father of Kupe. And Kupe is the father of the children of Ikaro. That's right. And the children of Ikaro have been oppressed. Right? Robbed. Pillaged. Confounded. We don't know what to do in this shit ass world. Let's go to, let's go to the milk. Isaiah. Oh, no, let's get um, Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Because everybody thinks this is for everybody. But the Most High just said, He's in the midst of Ikaro and none else. He said, only for Israel. And He said, those other people are not the children of God. All these other people want to be used. And we want to be them, but let's be us, the children of the Most High Power. We're from Hawaii. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. This is Deuteronomy, written by the hand of Maui. Read. These be the words which Mom spake unto all the room. What's that? These be the words which Mom spake unto all the room. Nah, these are the words that Mom spake to everybody. These be the words which Mom spake unto all the room. So Maui's only speaking to all the room. He's not speaking to all China or Parker. They stole our shit. This is our job, boo. That's right. Go to Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Let's tell them the Maori people how special you are. In the law, in the in the book of life, he's never heard this before. We're gonna tell the truth. How special the Maori man is. Yeah. Who? Yeah. Goes by the house of your fathers, by your spoof. That's where we come from, eh, brothers? We come from our dad's left nut and right nut. We don't come from no land. We come from our fathers. Read. Seven and six. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6 So these words are only spoken to the children of Ikaro Now let's say what, let's listen to what these words are saying Read For thou art a holy people What? Unto the Lord thy God We are holy people unto the Lord thy God Read The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself So the Māori and the Most High have a personal relationship unto himself Read Above all people that are upon the face of the earth Above what? Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. That's right. We don't fake around this shit. We're gonna ruin your platform, all right? Because that saved the Lord. We're under the most high power. Read. The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because you were more in number than any people. Ah, uh, there's more people than our nation, read. For ye were the fewest of all people. What? For ye were the fewest of all people. Until this very day, we're the fewest of all people. There's only a little bit of us. There's uh, five million people in New Zealand. There's um, half a million Māori on the planet. We're never going to win a vote. Never. We're outnumbered. So, Go to Isaiah 41. We're just going to continue telling the truth. Everybody's been waiting for this day. Be joyful. The Lord has sent His Son. The Son is here to tell you the truth. And He's not what you expected. The Son is a motherfucker. He's here to judge and make war. He's not here to give you smiles. He's not here with blonde and blue eyes. Yeah, He came as a motherfucker. Read. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 1 Keep silence before me, O islands Now keep silence before me, O mainland 
Keep silence before me, O oh, islands! O oh, what? O oh, islands! Now are these islands? Go to verse 8. Oh, verse 9. Thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth. Are you from Cuz? Are you from the end of the earth on the islands? Read. And called thee from the chief men thereof. Now the Most High is calling you from the chief men from this island. Read. And said unto thee. Said unto you, my Māori. Read. Thou art my servant. What? Thou art my servant. What? Thou art my servant. Where the servants of the Most High call your hour. Ha. Yeah. And we're here to give light unto all the people. Tell you the truth. That's it. Tell you the truth. You all become individuals. You all becoming robots. When the man says jump, you're going to say how high. That's going to come soon. And your peanuts is going to become crumbs. That's your payday, your, your money. The nations are putting on a fake war to make an excuse for why all the prices are going up. But the reason is, is the children of God are waking up. That's the truth. Know the spirit of prophecy. Everything that's been spoken is gonna get rewarded and happen. So, let's go to our first 15. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 15. Behold, behold, I will make thee a new sharp fishing instrument having teeth. What? I will make thee a new sharp fishing instrument having teeth. Let's go to Judges 15, 15. Now the Most High Power has prophesied to the Israelites that to the children of Ikara that he's going to give us a new sharp fishing instrument having teeth. So that means we had an old one. If he's going to give us a new one, we had an old one. Let's check out what the old one was. Read. Judges chapter 15, verse 15. Oh, girls, what did Maui have? Read. And he found a new jawbone. What? And he found a new jawbone. What? And he found a new jawbone. My brother, who and our ancestors, or who in the world had a jawbone? That was magic. Maui. You all know Maui had a jawbone, and we're his children. And we're here to collect this jawbone. This is it. The Holy Bible. It's mine, and mine only. The world is going to get uh, the fire now. He's a stolen my jawbone. And taught the world lies. When this is just the will for the children of Ikara and none else. So we're here to prophesy your dead nation's downfall. So we're here to teach repentance. My brother, come grab one of these, G. Get down with the program, fellas. We're out there, G. We're spreading in the four corners of the most highest powers in the world. And he's raising up the mighty men, G. From the gutter, from the struggle, we witnessed all the evils that this world offers. So yeah, we are here to prophesy down for this today's nation. All praise to the most high power, Yahweh. And we haven't even opened up yet. So, I want to give all honor and glory to the most high power, Yahweh. Ha, Yahweh. Aroha, Yamatu. Ha, Yahweh. Ha, Yahweh. All praise to the Most High Power. So we're going to get Revelations 2 verse 9. And we're going to chase that these culture vultures, these damn heathens have stolen our nationality, brother. They, they call themselves Judah. When you read it in the Paleo scripts, it says Waitaha. Now we're going to see out the Bible in English why this is written. Read. Revelations chapter 2. Verse 9, I know thy works, and tribulation, and poverty. So, the true Jews, they've been going through tribulation and poverty for over 400 years. Read. But thou art rich. Rich in spirit. Read. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. What? And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. So there's a group of people calling themselves Jews. Read. And are not. And are what? And are not. And are what? And are not. What are they? 
But of the synagogue of Satan. They're the chief house of Satan. They're against everything good. They're against everything like love. God is Aroha. Aroha means to give. Ha is your essence. And they're against it. That's why the world has changed. It's different now. It's changed. Why? Because someone owns the oil, the gold, the diamonds, all the resources. They own the media, the news. They own everything. And that they're promoting all wickedness onto our children and onto our people. And it's causing division. They want to promote yourselves to be good individuals and divide with each other when we shouldn't be good individuals we should be good with one another with one another be proud of yourselves but don't discriminate others do righteous justice righteous judgment when someone does wrong address it put them into check even if it's myself please correct me but we've got perpetrators and culture vultures Ten tribes, ten nations have gathered together against us. We're going to read it out of Psalms 83. So these nations have got together. This is why people can't read this. It's a, it's a mail, it's a kite from prisoner to prisoner. This is written from prisoners of war. Us from the gutter trying to send a message to the brothers. And the message is finally being received and interpreted. Read Psalm 83 verse 1 Keep not thy silence, O God Now, now read at uh, 82 verse 6 We'll start at 82 verse 6, read Psalm 82 verse 6 I have said, ye are God What did the Most High Power say? Ye are God Ye are what? Ye are God Ye are what? Ye are God Ye are the gods Ye show love Ye show evil Ye show good Ye show bad Show them God from yourself. That's how we see God is from the actions of men. That's how we see love is through the actions of men. We have to change our ways and know and behave like this. We and all of you are the children of the Most High. What? But ye shall die like men. We're still going to die like normal men. Read. And fall like one of the princes. But we want to fall like a prince. A prince rides into battle for what's righteous. Right. Read. Arise, O God. Arise, my people. Read. Judge the earth. We have to judge the earth for all the things that it's done wrong. Read. For thou shalt inherit all nations. Don't we want to inherit all nations? All of us. Because we got better love here on this side of the corner of the earth. We can be the best example to the rest of the world. And Aotearoa, New Zealand is the place to start it. Read. Keep not thou silence, O God. Don't be silent anymore. Talk about it. Say what's wrong. Say what's right. Exalt love. Read. Hold not thy peace. Don't be peaceful against anything evil. When you see evil, say something. You're the God. Read. And be not still. Don't be still no more. Don't be a sluggard. Read. O oh God. O oh God. Read. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. What? Lo, thine enemies make a tumult. So we have enemies. They make an angry gathering. Read. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. Now they've lifted up their head, they've got on supreme power where they can walk around. Read. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. They've taken crafty counsel against thy people. Read. And consulted against thy hidden ones. And us, the children of Ikura, the ones who should read this, are the hidden ones. Read. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. What did the enemy say to us about us? Let us cut them off from being a nation. They want to cut us off from being a nation. We're the children of Jacob, the Union Jack. We are the two brothers and sisters. They watch that, that side of the world. We watch this side of the world under the most high power. And he's forgotten that we're family. Read. That the name of Ikoro may know may be no more in remembrance. Read it, Papa. That the name of Ikaro may be no more in remembrance. That's why you're forgetting that Jews are from Jacob. You're forgotten that you're from Ikaro and Jacob. We're the United Nations of Jacob. Read. For they have consulted together with one consent. These angry evil heathens have talked talk everything. Read. 
They are confederate against thee. They're the confederate nations against thee. Read. The tabernacles, the tabernacles of Edom. The tabernacles of Edom. Read. And the Ishmaelites. The Ishmaelites, that's too. Read. Of Moab. The Moabs, they're against us too. Read. And the Hagarines. And the Hagarines. Some African nations against us too. Read. Jabal. Jabal, all those Russians against us too. Read. And Amon. Amon, they're against us too. Read. And Amalek. Amalek, the Jewish are against us too. Read. The Philistines. The Philistines who we want to help all the time are against us too. Read. But the inhabitants of Tyrene. Even the um, Mafia is against us too. Read. Assur is also against Even Assur is against them. So all the children of Jacob, the Union Jack, has fallen. The children of Lot. Now the children of Lot is the ones around us from the Pacifica. They're actually not on our team as well. They pretend they're on our team. The Israelites are scattered from on the four corners of earth, from here to uh, Britain, from here to Peru, from here to California. That's our houses. Those four tribes are the children of Ikoro. Read. Salam. Salam means truthfully. So what do we have to do? Read. Do unto them as unto the Midianites. What? Do unto them as unto the Midianites. So we have to do what Moses and the Maui and them did unto Tamatera. We have to go and smack Tamatera up again. One more time. With the jawbone. With the truth. This is the jawbone of Maui. We're here to show you how to use a proper. Read it one more time. Do unto them. Do unto them as unto the Midianites. Let's do Sisera, let's do Japun at the brook of Kiso, which perished at Endor. Read. They became as dung for the earth. What did they become? They became as dung for the earth. So we have to show and expose these people and expose that they're shit. They're word of shit. That's the truth. Let's be warriors. The most high said, keep not silence. He said, you're the gods. So we're going to get Isaiah 41, verse 1, so you know who you're talking to. Book of Isaiah, chapter 41, verse 1. Keep silence before me, O islands. What? Keep silence before me, O islands. No, O mainland. O islands. No, no, no. America. O islands. What islands? Let's go to verse 9. Thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth. What island at the end of the earth? Read. And called thee from the chief men thereof. Now he's calling the kings and queens. Read. And said unto thee. Thou art my servant. What? Thou art my servant. Thou art my Māori. Thou art my servant. Read. I have chosen thee. He's chosen the Māori only. Read. And not cast thee away. He's not cast us away as it is written. Read. Fear thou not. Fear thou not. For I am with thee. The Most High is with us and us only. Read. Be not dismayed. Don't be dismayed at the Bible. It's not the white man's book. It's ours. King James was the last Māori king of Britain. He's one of our brothers. That's why we created a unity between the house of Jacob and the house of Ikoro. That's why our ancestors created the union check between the Queen and the Māori. That's why our elbows on the table when you look at the, um, the arms, the coat of arms, our elbows on the table, her hands on the book. She made a promise and a vow unto us because right. we are the true children of the Most High Power. We are white Waitaha. That's the true Jews. Read. For oh, I am. Thy God. What? For I am thy God. He's your God. Read. I will strengthen thee. He's going to strengthen you with this knowledge. Wisdom. The Ihi and the Wei. His name is, is already telling you what he's going to give you. He's going to give you Hawa. He's going to give you Yahawa. He's going to give you Ihi and Wei. Read. Yeah. I will help thee. He's going to help you now. Yeah. I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. So the Most High wrote it down. He made sure it was written down for you. But today, read. Behold. Behold. All they that were incensed against thee. All these damn heathens that called us heathen. What are they going to be? Incensed against thee. Shall be ashamed and confounded. All the world's going to be ashamed and confounded when they find out that the Jews ain't white to heart. 
that the Jews stole white tiles nationality, that I'm Ikoro, that I'm from the house of Ephraim, Joseph is my name. I'm Eeyore, Re. They shall be as nothing. They shall be as what? And they shall be as nothing. All these damn people are going to come and continue to be pleased with my own children is going to be as nothing. Re. And they that strive with thee shall perish. Everyone that strives against the men of the Lord are going to perish. Re. Thou shalt seek them and shall not find them. Everyone try to find us, but they can't. Re. Even them that contended with thee. Even our enemies can't find us. Re. They that war against thee shall be as nothing. Anyone that wars against the word of the Most High Power shall be as what? Shall be as nothing. What? Shall be as nothing. There's nothing because I'm telling the truth. I said the Lord Yahweh. Read. And there's a thing of naught. There's a thing of what? And there's a thing of naught. That's right. Now we're going to go to our uh, revelations. The real name of Jesus is written down on my stick. Yah, ha, wa, iki. That's the true Christ. That's why we say entire Hawaii too. Raise up our house, our house. They changed his name, made it a place. Now we're trying to find where is it at. We know it's the most high. We Revelation chapter 14 verse 1. So we're going to tell you a prophecy that's going to happen very shortly and it's happening. Read. And they look and lo. They looked into the future and lo. Read. A lamb stood on the Mount Zion. Tina. Read. And with him 144,000 having the Father's name written in their foreheads. Having the what? Having the Father's name written in their foreheads. And I'm here to show you this is the Father's name written. On my forehead. Yahawa, Hawaii Kinui, Hawaii Kiro, Hawaii Kipa Momo, T, Hawa, Radio. Where the two children of Ikaro, all these other people are liars and culture vultures. That's the truth. Thus saith the Lord. We're going to go to Revelations 7 and 3. Where the prophecy, the downfall to this wicked ass nation. That's the truth. Revelations chapter 7, verse 3. Read, say it. Earth not the earth. Yeah, we can't hurt the earth. Read. Neither the sea. Our God is not going to kill nobody. Read. Nor the trees. Nor the trees. Read. Till we have sealed the servants of our God in their forehead. So, I'm here to get my men and tell them we need that 144k so we can get our God and show them God. All these people need to know who God is, eh? And we're going to show them the fire. We already flooded the world. Now we're going to burn it. It does save the world. Beautiful. I love it, man. It's going to make you popular. Hopefully, the police comes. And then I can cut them up. Because I'm under the sovereign flag of Tanga Māori and I'm the landlord. And I'm an actual rangatira of Waka Putanga Fakaminanga Māori. And I come from Nga Tu. Te Kai Tani Fa Māori. We're our own hub. We're sovereign. And bring the, the elite of the New Zealand industry or whatever they're called. But we're here as a true nation, and we're here to um, tell our Māori people to repent, tell our other brothers and sisters who want to get under a proper nation to repent, come under Waka Putanga Māori and make marriage, make new, new beings, overthrow the New Zealand government, because it's not founded by the Queen anymore. They overthrow the monarchy, I've got respect for the monarchy, but I don't have respect for those who overthrow the monarchy. I made a, I made a deal with the Queen, not with the everyone else. You know, because that's our little sister. These are our little sisters here. All these back are our little sisters. This is the little Esau's children. Now let's tell them what Esau or how God feels about them. Romans 9, verse 13. So these are our Esau's children. Esau's babies and Esau's our brother. Yeah, and we're meant to look after them because the whole world wants them destroyed. But time's up. We've, we've looked after them long enough. <laughs> So read this. Let's uh, hear what God says about the Edomites. He saw himself. Te Bakia. Read. Romans chapter 9, verse 13. New Testament. This is what the churches won't read to them. Read. As it is written. It's written in the Bible. Poop it, have I loved. What? Poop it, have I loved. Read. But Esau, have I hated. Say his proper name. But the Pakia, have I hated. Read. What shall we say then? What shall we say then, my friend? It's written in the Bible. 
greed? Is there unrighteousness with God? Is there unrighteousness with God because God hates him? God forbid. Nah. If God wants to hate someone, he can hate them. It's up to him. This is his. This is just how it is. And what did God say? Read it again one more time for the brothers because they've never heard this before. It's in the Bible that everyone's got. The Bible's been around for 2,000 years and no one's read this line to you. Read. As it is written, Hupe have I loved. Hakuha have I hated. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? Read it in English, brother. As it is written, Jacob have I loved. But Esau have I hated. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid. Oh, thank you to the most high power for writing that down. Thanks to our Tupuna for writing that down. That's why we always have the feather. We have the feather on our head, so we always got to write. They said we didn't read or write, my bros. We are the first readers and writers on this planet. Right. We gave fire unto man. Fire is writing. Fire is the Bible. The first five books of Maui is the five fingernails of Mahuika. I found the brothers, and it's all praise for the most high power. And him, and him alone. Shalom. Wow. We need the brothers to pass these around.